Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson, and here's the seafood news for the week of July 1st, 2019. In this week's episode, we uncover how the West Coast is unknowingly getting flooded with cheaper albacore tuna. This week's 3-Minute Market Insight is brought to you by Tradex Live, the world's seafood marketplace. Go to live.tradexfoods.com to find your seafood offers today. The 2019 North Pacific albacore tuna fishery is set to begin and the market can expect to see a price drop due to the west coast getting flooded with a cheaper South Pacific albacore tuna. North and South Pacific albacores share the same scientific name, tuna salalunga. They look similar but are very different in size, flavor and price. North Pacific albacore has a higher oil content and a superior flavor profile over its counterpart. Many vendors trying to make a quick buck off of uneducated customers are selling this product as albacore tuna, product of Canada or USA. North, North Pacific albacore are typically between 7 to 20 pounds per fish, producing a 1 to 2 pound loin. The South Pacific albacore is a bigger fish producing a 5 to 7 pound loin. Importers of this product are cutting these loins down to a pound, then boxing them up as a 1 to 2 pound loin, product of Canada or USA. To find out more, more about what is happening at the end user level, we speak to a sushi chef who requested to remain anonymous on this matter. Yeah, in the past I do have some uh supplier they send me some really good price tuna um, and I tried before they like almost half price of what I'm paying for the uh, uh, grade 8 tuna from uh, BC Food or some other supplier um, they from six seven bucks per pound uh, the size is bigger and looks exactly the same as what I get from the regular abroad uh, but the thing is if you try it the more like you more like eating pasta, no taste. So I spoke to my supplier, I returned it back to them, and um, so far I know some places in town are using them because they're really cheap. So, for example, if they're using to mix uh, spicy tuna or stuff, for regular customers, they're really hard to tell. And also um, for some hockey uh, store, they use to mix with the sauce and do the Hawaiian hockey to serve customers. You know, like customers, they're not experts, so they cannot tell. But for us, we have to serve to uh, the sashimi, nigiri, and we taste ourselves as a chef. We cannot use this for what we sell for customer. But I understand some places they, for example, all you can eat, or they try to uh, lower down the the cost, and they use it. I'm not surprised. And uh, even on the box itself. You, you, can't, you can't tell what you're getting? No, we cannot tell. Like, the package and the boxes are the same. And from the same supplier, like I say, they have grade A, grade B, and also they have some really cheap ones. They, they told us this from the South Asia. Yeah, so at first I thought I'm getting a good deal, and, and then I try it and just cannot use it in my restaurant. Current pricing for North Pacific Alba albacore can be seen around $8 a pound US for loins. South Pacific albacore are being offered out at around $3.50 a pound US for 5 to 8 pound loins. The North Pacific fishery takes place from June through October and starts as soon as the tuna are seen in Oregon. Then follow, they follow their migration route up to British Columbia, Canada. At the time of this report, we are told that the water temperatures are still fairly cold and that the fish are not yet there. The USA and Canada fisheries do not operate under a TAC but are MSC certified and are a very well managed fishery. We reached out to NOAA fisheries to their outlook for the season and they can be quoted as saying the following. Last year had a preponderance of small fish which influenced the early termination of the fishery. It is hoped that those small fish will return this year at a marketable size. 
In Canada, we connected with Lauren Clayton, Executive Director of Canadian Highly Migratory Species Foundation, and based on preliminary predictions, they are hopeful to see Canadians' landings increase again this year, back to historical norms of 4,000 to 5,000 metric tons after extremely low 2017 season. Last year, Canadian fleets landed 2,700 metric tons. Our recommendation if you want to ensure you're getting North Pacific albacore tuna is to ask your supplier to confirm the catch area. And finally, our Tradex Live offer of the week is for West Coast caught albacore tuna loins. These are wild caught in British Columbia, Canada, number one quality, sashimi grade, MSC certified and ocean wise recommended. Click or tap the icon above to view more details for this offer. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.